Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlorals.com and today I have another haul for you. This is actually a haul that I shared a little bit ago on Patreon but forgot to upload it here to YouTube so I wanted to make sure I brought everything back out so you guys can see what's new in my stash this month. This is my haul from the Echo Park warehouse sale that they had. This is not a warehouse box, that's come different. This was during their warehouse sale when they marked certain collections down. You can pick them up for a good price and I did just that. This is my first time ordering directly from them. Um, I've heard good things about the warehouse box. You can definitely search YouTube for additional videos on that. But I did pick out some stuff that I thought would work well for projects I have upcoming. So to get started, they had these beautiful 6x8 albums on sale. I got the poinsettia one. Adorable. This one I'm not as fond of, but for $3 for a 6x8 album, I can always cover it if I need to and six by eight albums can be pretty expensive. So then this one says Merry Christmas on the front with a wood grain snowflake on it. So I had to get those, both have the gold detailing and this is a D-ring album and it says it fits all popular six by eight photo sleeves which is exciting because I definitely have a variety of those in my stash. So it's nice that I don't need the exact Echo Park ones. So that's where we started with some Christmas. Um, mostly the only Christmas I bought for Intentions of Christmas but of course, I bought some of these My Story Book Pocket Page refills. They didn't have just plain 6x8 in stock anymore, so I got the 3x4 and 4x6 combo, which comes with two 3x4 pockets and one 4x6. And I think there are, yeah, 25 in each, so I got 50 of those. It's one of my favorite ones to have in a 6x8 journal because I can do a full 6x8 photo here, two pocket cards if I want, or I can do some smaller photos. So I like the idea of having a full story on each page. Um, they, I wish they had actual 12 by 12 ones as well, but they didn't have any of those in stock either. So you win some, you lose some. I'm just glad that I got a good deal on them. Next up, something I'm super excited to be using very, very soon is this 12 by 12 sticker sheet. This is the Dive Into Summer Echo Park sticker sheet. How adorable is this for summer? I cannot believe how cute it is. I think the thing that won me over the most is really the pool floaties that spell pool. I mean, it's adorable. I also really like that they have a Polaroid camera, the flamingo floaty, perfect, so iconic for summer. But I just really love the colors of this, just bright and cheerful, perfect for vacations, for cruising, a lot of fun ideas to use that one. Next up, they actually had the football one. This is, they didn't have a ton of the stuff, but I figured I would get this to help scrapbook some of the um, sports stuff I have to scrapbook. Again, this is from 2020. So if you're looking for this, it's a little bit of an older collection, but they did have the sticker sheet. Speaking of sports, they also had the basketball one I had to pick up. I've been to a few basketball games now, and I figured why not have some themed ephemera for it. I actually really like the border strips down here. They're a little cheesy, but I really, really liked them. And it's interesting one thing went with red on this one, because they had multiple colors on the football one, but there's a lot of red on this one. Um, they didn't have much else to go with these, like the paper sets or anything, so we'll just have to make do and find some red matches in our stash. Next up was the Let's Go Camping collection from Echo Park. This one's from 2021. So you guys know I've been going to a lot of national parks, so this will be perfect. I actually have a paper pad that I think will match this really well already in my stash. So I'm super excited to do some scrapbooking of some of our hiking adventures. I just can't believe how cute some of these illustrations are. Echo Park's really hit or miss for me, so I'm super excited to have that. Next up, I was lucky enough to have this still in stock. This is the Witches and Wizards collection kit, which includes 12 double-sided papers and a 12 by 12 element sticker sheet, which you guys know. I've been visiting the Harry Potter Wizarding World here in Orlando all the time. I can't get over some of these, these uh, patterns. What I really liked about this one, like over the photo play one, which I also own some of, much more subtle, much more my style. Do I think I can use this owl paper? Probably not, but maybe as a layer instead. But these stickers are so wholesome and so cute, so magical, as they say here. Um, and I just can't wait to use it. I like that it's not super licensed because sometimes super themes can get really hard to use, but I really like this. I Let me know what you guys think. I think they have a couple of these as well. I think they've released their second one already of this collection. So this one's from 2020, but I'm super excited to do some Harry Potter pages. And let me know if you guys are interested in seeing those process videos. 
Next up, we got a couple smaller things. These are the Away We Go Puffy stickers. Let me bring these up close since they're so small. As you guys know, I'm traveling a lot and I love scrapbooking with pastels. How adorable. These ones aren't super squishy. They're more just like a dimensional sticker versus a puffy sticker, but they're cute nonetheless. Then, like I said, just a tiny bit of Christmas left. I ended up getting this stencil from Santa Claus Lane by Echo Park, and this is from 2022, so kind of new. But I just really liked this. Like, imagine this with the Harry Potter Witches and Wizards collection, like as gold, a gold uh, paste stencil on the background, a dark background. So beautiful, had to have it. Then I ended up splurging on some sticker books. I believe these were four or five dollars, and there are 16 pages in this one and this one. Let's see, this one has, oh, I guess they're both by Cardabella, but I got the Believe in Magic, the Disney one, and then I got the Outdoor Adventures one. So we can do a quick flip through here. How flippin' adorable is that car for Tomorrowland Speedway, Main Street? I believe these are Disney World-based, not Disneyland-inspired, but you guys can be the judge of that. And these do also repeat. So we have the Liberty Bell on the Rivers of America, Vacation Land. Some of this is a little cheesy for my taste for how I scrapbook Disney, but I'm still gonna use it. The little tram. We have the train. Some little churros, ice cream sandwiches, apples, popcorn. That'll be a good one. Popcorn stand even. An alphabet. Can't go wrong with a block alpha. Then we have some border stickers. Again, Main Street USA. And then some colored ones. Phrase stickers, again, these are a little cheesy for my liking, but we could make them work. And then we have like, these are almost like mini titles. Say cheese, the best fireworks, good time, smiles made here, fantasy. I don't have the paper to match this, but like I said, it starts repeating after that. So you get all the same ones. So two of each page essentially. Um, but I don't have this particular collection, but I do have some other, like the Simple Stories one kind of matches this pretty well, so we'll make it work for us. Similarly, the Outdoor Adventures one, this one's a bit of a stretch because it does have some hyper-realistic stickers and stuff, which I have a lot of trouble using, it seems. So I was a little nervous of buying this one, which is why I didn't end up buying the collection kit or anything, because I was too nervous that I wouldn't be able to use it well. But um, like I said, a lot of camping and national park adventures. So I thought we'd have to get Smokey the Bear. I have now seen many a moose. So it's really nice to have these kind of things. We have seen bears. I have not seen a baby bear yet. Um, maybe someday soon I'll be able to see a baby bear. This one's set up a little bit differently. So we have like some icons here. And I'm going to have been to, let's see. Well, three of these are real ones. This is Arches, Yellowstone, Yosemite. I think this one's actually, not sure which one, this one's supposed to be in Wyoming, I believe as well, but really, really beautiful. But they do have like fray stickers here and then they go into like the icons. Again, I really, I really love when things are like ticket shapes. I just love unique shapes, especially when it comes to stickers. A, a dark green, almost black um, alpha to use with this collection. And then we get some like vintage stuff back here, another moose, some campers. We used to actually have a camper like this, so I should be able to use that one. Some vintage style s'mores time, world's best fishermen, like cute stuff. Some border, sorry, this binding is very hard to bend. I really like the map one, the little fishing pole one's really fun with the lures. Then we've got some smaller stickers, the round ones. We got a little like national park fake logo. Overall, I'm just really ecstatic to have some more camping stuff. And then they repeat as well. So four or five dollars, four to five dollars. I can't remember because I don't have my receipt anymore, but I thought these would be really great to have in my stash. And if you guys have not checked out the Echo Park Warehouse sale before, highly recommend it. Um, I definitely think that spending up to the free shipping threshold is usually worth it, but definitely check for your area. It depends where you live for the shipping and all that jazz. But um, let me know what you guys are most excited to see me use. I think the first thing I'll probably use out of all of this stuff um, hmm. I mean, if I had to guess, it's going to be this because I'm into some summer scrapping right now, but I'm really excited to try both of these sticker books out because you guys know I adore sticker books and so do so many of you. So let me know what you're excited for me to use out of this haul. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll have a link to the warehouse below so you guys can check it out if you haven't already. But thank you guys again so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Bye guys.